All right, so it appears that former House Speaker as well as former vice presidential candidate on the Mitt Romney ticket, Paul Ryan, has come out and said that the election was not stolen. Joe Biden did indeed win the election. That is what Paul Ryan is coming out to say. It says Paul Ryan says it's, quote, really clear Biden won election. It was not rigged. It was not stolen. Uh, former House Speaker Paul Ryan said it's really clear that President Biden won the 2020 election as fellow Republicans in his home state gear up for an audit of presidential ballots. President Trump lost the election. Joe Biden won the election, Ryan told WISN 12 in a rare interview on Monday. It was not rigged. It was not stolen. Donald Trump lost the election. Joe Biden won the election. It's really clear, he added. Um... Since Ryan's comments come as Trump and his GOP allies continue to falsely assert that the 2020 election was stolen due to widespread voter fraud. Um, and so what's interesting about this, obviously, is that um, <clears throat> when it comes to Paul Ryan, Paul Ryan and, and Donald Trump had a pretty deep beef. They did not like each other at all, so they had a very big beef going on. There was that leaked uh, call that Paul Ryan had with a bunch of GOP representatives telling them that it was up to them if they wanted to endorse Donald Trump or not. So Paul Ryan is really fucked up, by the way. He's a serious piece of shit who wants to cut virtually all social security and all social programs. So basically letting more people be in poverty, go hungry, uh, those kinds of things. So he's a horrible person. Uh, what's also interesting is remember that Paul Ryan got dicked down hard um, in that debate against Joe Biden. I mean, Joe Biden literally made him look like his bitch, basically. So it's interesting that he's coming out um, in this situation to say this. But I think that Paul Ryan, the reason why he's doing this, A, is because he's now retired. He's no longer a politician, which means that he doesn't have that pressure that he would have to have if he was in office. And B, this is him basically uh, doing a, a fuck you to Donald Trump and, you know, flipping him off and being like, ha ha, you lost. Uh, that's essentially what I believe he's doing here. Um, it says, uh, Ryan told WISN that Trump legitimately lost the 2020 race, noting that all of his legal challenges of the election results were thrown out in court. He exhausted the court challenges, Ryan said. None of them went his way, so he legitimately lost. Is there mischief, organized shenanigans in elections? Sure. Is there fraud? Yes. Was it organized to the extent that it would have swung the Electoral College and the presidential election? Absolutely not. Ryan also offered a broader criticism of Trump's control over the GOP, saying, I think we'll just keep losing if we wrap ourselves around one person. We have not lost this much this fast in a long, long time. Uh, however, the former speaker, who is currently a guest lecturer in political science and economics at Notre Dame, said that he had no immediate plans to return to politics. Who knows what the future holds down the road, but nothing in the near future, that's for sure. He'll definitely jump back into politics. All the politicians who retire uh, not like out of super old age, usually they come back, especially given how young he is. He'll definitely come back. I think that he's just waiting for the Trump train to die down, because otherwise he's going to be a serious enemy. Um, and Donald Trump supporters still have most of the GOP in the House by the nuts. And that's simply because there's either the majority of their supporters are Trump supporters or there's enough Trump supporters to swing their district in the favor of their opponents. So Trump owns basically the entire GOP House, um, you know, by the nuts. What's actually sad is, you know, he's talking about how much they're losing. Like, they haven't really lost that much. It's still a 50-50 split in the Senate. Uh, Biden's only got this one term, you know, the next one, who knows if he's going to be able to win it or not. Um, the House, you know what I mean, like losing, you know, may go back in Republican favor. So it's just not, and the, the margin was very small that Biden won with, which is very, very alarming, super alarming. So, you know, it's not looking too hot on the Democratic side is what I'm trying to get out there. Um, so it's interesting he's coming out to say this. Obviously, it's an F.U. to Trump, uh, but interesting nonetheless.